feeling I get from racing is just like, I don't know, the, the confidence. The feeling from finishing a race and that, like the crowds and that, you know, the, the achievement's unbelievable. There's uh, an instinct that some riders have compared to others. It's not like you're born with it, but I guess it's just from hours and hours of riding. You know, like when I finished work when I was 16, 17, I was on my bike every day. And uh, it's time and effort that you put in, I think, that gives you that instinct when you're racing. So since I've turned professional, I've won, I think, like every outdoor race that there is. The main goal this year was to try and win the World Indoor Championship, but I, w I was leading it until uh, the sixth round and I broke my leg in practice. I was doing a few fast laps and uh, I like jumped a log and when I landed, I had my foot out and uh, I hit my heel on the, on the ground first. I usually carry on and try and ride an injury off, but then I knew there was something bad, so I rode straight to the pits and uh, I came home, got my leg x-rayed, it was broken. I'd actually cracked my fibula. I didn't want to give up a fight of a championship, you know, I've trained for months and months before just to, to win the championship, not just to, to give up because I broke my leg. So I, I obviously tried my hardest, but we went to the final round and tried to ride, but I ended up losing the championship and dropping to third. So, you know, the main goal is to win the World Indoor Championship one day. Johnny's journey through CrossFit has obviously taken a, a downturn because of his injury. It's pretty painful to watch somebody with such desire and drive to do well have to put the brakes on in particular things. Being constantly varied in his training was really helpful for his sport. He tried to keep the time domain to reflect races. When Johnny was training for the indoor season, he did three seven-minute races in a competition. So we would often replicate three seven-minute exertions. But now he's training for the outdoor. Races are you know, days long, so we're going to extend the training time to you know up to an hour or beyond. We've been training three or four times a week and you know everything's really high intensity whereas when I was training before I was just going to the gym doing doing little bits, you know, it wasn't so specific to what I'm doing. When I get on the bike now after after training I just feel so strong, you know, I feel like I can put the bike where I want to put it so I could jump to to land somewhere else, you know, I just feel so strong on the bike. Understanding CrossFit for Johnny, it's a long process and hopefully he's seen the benefits of it and therefore getting more respect for the strength and conditioning. And at the same time, I'm learning more about his sport, which is then developing him as an athlete. I think it's just put more fire in, in my belly, you know, I'm just desperate to get back racing, I'm more hungry, I've, I've kind of watched all my races and I've done a lot of studying, so hopefully my first race back will be Romaniacs, which is seven hours a day, so my concentration should be good for that because I'm keen. We're in Romania for the Red Bull Romaniacs and it's a five-day rally. We start off with a prologue in the city centre. It's in the back of my mind when I'm racing, you know, am I going to put my right leg down and hurt it again? But, you know, I'll try and put that at the back of my mind for this week and try and win this race. Five days of riding seven, eight hours a day brutal on the body doing that but physically I feel good you know we've done a lot of crossfit working obviously racing uh, this sort of stuff on the track you know you've got to be fully committed you know if you go into something not fully committed then you know you're going to come off worse so you know my goal is to, to have what I'm going to do in my head and just do that there was a lot of pushing in that race you know there was one bit where we kept having to pull the bike up and that's a bit like what we do when we're training you know we're always training when we're doing crossfit you know we're always lifting heavyish weights but we're doing a lot of reps and that, that race then we're doing 10-15 laps and uh, you know every lap we're having to pick the bike up and there's 100 kilograms there so 
You know, after doing that for 10 minutes, you know, it takes its toll on the body. Enduro and CrossFit, it's kind of the same, you know, we, we look at that and we know what we've got to do, so we've got to go away, think about it, and then, you know, it's, it's full gas from start to finish, and, you know, that's kind of what CrossFit is. The confidence I get going into a race now is, like, it's so much better than I, I ever had before. You know, as long as you, you push hard and you, you're always concentrating because all you want to do is win. When you finish and everyone's happy, you know, that's what, what makes it all worthwhile.